Hey, in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick malware removal with uh, D7-2 and kill them all. Um, first off, we'll, we, we'll launch the malware here and infect the system. I'll run it as administrator. And I'm just going to get the uh, task manager so we can see the progress. And you can see here that we have the uh, malicious executable running, which has not disappeared from the desktop, normally characteristic of malware droppers, Trojan droppers. Um, you can see it's launching a child process, but it keeps terminating. So it's just sitting there using a lot of CPU. Um, I got to be honest with you. I actually uh, have crypto prevent on this virtual machine, so the infection can't take hold. Um, this is just a little uh, sneak in plug for crypto prevent. Um, if you normally had crypto prevent on the system, even though this is not crypto locker, um, you have something like this that infects the system, all you really need to do is reboot the computer and you're good to go. Um, the malicious executable is no longer running and it has not been able to infect the system because it plants itself in places that crypto prevents policies uh, protect. So watch what happens when I remove the policies. And immediately you'll see we have our Windows anti-breach tool and the program also disappears from the desktop which uh, because it's now actually infected the system. So I'm going to give it a quick restart and we'll make sure that the hooks are in the system real good. Okay, we're almost back up. And here's our anti-breach tool again. Okay, so now um, we can't close it. Um, Control Alt Delete for Task Manager doesn't work. We can't really run anything. So I know that D72 is not going to run either. So in order to get D72 running on the system, I'm going to start with Kill Em All. And you can see that Kill Em All is being terminated as well, but it only takes a few tries. And then Kill Em All will succeed. Once it does, you'll see in visible processes that it did remove um, or did kill the malicious process which also has disappeared from the screen and you'll also notice that it appears in the out of place files section um, out of place files is actually a concept that I will show you through D72's malware scan um, malware scan has a specific scan for this um, and I will say that normally with kill them all you can actually go ahead and delete the infection point right now and you're mostly done but I'm going to use D72's malware scan also to show you the out of place files which you'll see it also um, uh, finds that that particular file there um, you'll notice that the file is not signed and you can do a SIG check or query virus total with this button. If, for example, you're not familiar with what you're looking at, um, you can instantly see VT detection is 5 of 50. Um, again, it's unsigned. Um, eventually, the virus total window will pop open and you'll see that as well. So we'll just go ahead and delete that. And we'll also take the entries out of the run keys because I know it adds these entries into the run key. Um, one for the current user, HK. Um, uh, I'm sorry, this one is the current user. And one in um, the one is found in the user in another user's registry hive, actually. So we'll just delete these items um, and we'll delete any associated files, which actually I've already taken care of. Um, and hopefully that will also have shown you that malware scan not only operates on the current user profile, but it operates on all user profiles. Um, at this point, 
I would normally browse through other sections of malware scan. I happen to know that that's all that this particular infection does. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, you've just made 150 bucks or whatever you charge for a malware removal. You're essentially done. Um, what one thing that you can do is proceed with D72, and that is sort of the point of this video. Proceed with D72. Um, I'm just going to run you through a few things that I would do here real quick. Um, find move shortcuts. Uh, this finds the shortcuts that have been moved by um, malicious software into your temp directory. Um, so you want to do that always before you delete temp files. Um, Fixed file associations will take you through fixing um, the registry entries that launch executables. Um, COM, BAT, CMD, uh, shortcuts, reg files. It will repair all of those associations so malware can't launch and then launch the um, executable that you intended for it to launch so you would never be the wiser. Um, we'll fix that with these. The remove policies, this will remove all malicious group policies that, that could be in play on the system. We'll clear proxy settings. That'll work for Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome. Um, we'll do our temp file deleting. We'll empty the recycle bin. Um, we'll go through. I'll probably do like a TDSS killer. Uh, Hitman Pro. I may do a malware bytes. Um, TDSS killer and Hitman Pro will run fully automated. Um, TDSS killer is actually running right now. It's completely silent and automated. Um, whoops, I clicked that and I shouldn't have. Um, Hitman Pro will also run fully automated. Malware bytes does require a few clicks, um, mostly to remove the soft, uh, the, the, the whatever it finds. Um, but it does automate a lot for you. And I encourage you to look at the, the, uh, blog for um, some more information on everything that it automates within Malwarebytes. Um, then I would normally run um, perhaps some virus, actual virus scanners, uh, Sophos and um, Viper. Those will both run fully automated. And then auto runs, um, which of course, as you run auto runs, um, that cannot run fully automated. So uh, you need to manually inspect whatever you're going to do with auto runs. Um, then I would probably run the uh, Security Essentials Win the Windows Defender Quick Scan or Full Scan. Whether or not you believe in Windows Defender or Microsoft Security Essentials, if the person has that installed on their system, you don't want it finding something left over down the road that you may have missed somewhere else. Um, then the person will think that <clears throat> you didn't do your job well enough. So you want to do scans with those, and these will run fully automated and remove whatever is found. Um, you can reset networking, repair permissions, do a bunch of other miscellaneous repairs, create a system restore point, and it's all been done in just a few clicks. Um, reboot when finished is a good option. Add your notes, and uh, you're done. So I hope this has been an educational video for you. Um, showing you how can you you can actually remove some live malware with D72 and make a lot of money in a very short amount of time. I hope that's been of some help to you. Thanks a lot for watching. Why don't you come down to S